Hey guys, Super Sonic 123 aka John here. Welcome to episode number 7 of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode here on FIFA 17. And for the first game in today's episode, we will play this game in League 1 away against Peterborough United and hopefully we'll uh, get a win against this Peterborough side, of course. We will be the underdogs going into the game, but I think hopefully we can get something out of it. So let's get into this game and come on the Dons. Henderson, Mikhail Smith. Shoved off the ball, comes to Henderson, and Henderson finds the net. It's Peterborough United 1, AFC Wimbledon 0, as Henderson gives Peter, uh, Peterborough the lead here through that goal, and we fall behind away from home. So as Mikhail Smith turns on a sixpence, past Darius Charles, comes to Henderson. He turns it to his right foot there, shoots, and it is really no real chance for Lee Grant, not for Lee Grant, for... <laughs> Don't know why I had that in my mind. For James Shea, as it heads right into the top corner and gives Peterborough the lead. So we're on the back foot away from home early on. De Silva, good control. Takes a pass to Ina. De Silva here for Peterborough. Drills it in. Charles, and, and then Reeve clears. Here's Chris Forrester. Forrester with the shot blocked. But De Shea, or no, not De Shea, but Shea makes the save eventually. Jake Reeves here. Out wide, Barcham to cut inside. Finds Reeves again. Reeves, Isaac. Isaac with the shot. Scuffs it, McGee claims. First real chance of the game for AFC Wimbledon there. Harrod looking for Lyle Taylor. Finds him. Taylor with the shot. McGee saves. Isaac on the rebound. Hits the side netting. And it stays at 1 0 on the stroke of half time. Could have been a first league goal of the season for our Swedish striker, Isaac. There's half time, guys. Peterborough United won. AF Wimbledon nil. We ha we ha didn't really get going in the game up until well after Peterborough's goal. A couple of chances in the first half for Isaac on his first game back from injury, but none of them converted. And at half time, it is probably deservedly 1 0 Peterborough. It's De Silva here for Peterborough. Cuts back inside. De Silva with the shot. Hits the post and comes out very lucky to not double. Uh, very lucky that Peterborough, Peterborough didn't double their lead there, sorry. Isaac, Taylor, finding a strike partner, Isaac, could be a late chance for an equaliser here, Alexander Isaac on his favourite right foot, McGee with the save, and it's out for a corner, very good chance for us to equalise there, we failed to capitalise though, corner from Reeves, floating it towards Isaac, excellent header, McGee saves, Henderson here is a two on one, can Dazil get back in time, he can't, it's De Silva, two against one again, Henderson, should have scored, should have sealed the game for Peterborough. If he had made a 2-0 there, it would have been game over. But we still are in it. We cannot find a late equaliser. Finishes Peterborough United 1, AF Wimbledon 0. Based on the first half performance, yeah, that would have been fair. But in the second half, we peppered the Peterborough United goal. They had a few chances to, to seal it. But we had, you know, arguably the best uh, with those couple of Isaac chances. Especially that header from the corner, which Isaac... Headed straight down, perfect technique into the bottom corner, but it was saved by McGee. But you can't, you win some, you lose some, and we've lost this one against Peterborough. It's no disaster, and we'll try and move on from that. Come on, the Dons. Some player training here following that game, and we do have Lance Murphy again going up in those um, in those defending attributes, which is what something that central midfielder would need, getting ever so close to the 55 mark. So, guys, for the second game in today's episode, we'll simulate this game against Bristol Rovers at home in League 1, a midweek game, because uh, Bristol Rovers are bottom of the league, haven't won a single game, and uh, but knowing our luck, we'll probably end up losing. You know, that's just how sim games have gone for us this season. We'll see if we can get good results from a simmed game. Come on the Dons. So we'll skip ahead, see what result we get. 2-1 win over Bristol Rovers. Isaac gets his first goal of the season. Charles is well on the score sheet, cancelling out a goal from Harrison. And it appears that uh, Bristol Rovers also missed a penalty. So, uh, entertaining game, but we come out the victors against bottom of the league opposition. So, guys, for the third game in today's episode, we'll play away against Oxford United in the league. And uh, we'll see how Oxford are doing so far. Oxford currently sat in 21st place in the league, only two wins all season. So, we'd be expected to win away from home, but it won't be an easy game, uh, especially as we are away from home. But we'll see what we can get out of the game and uh, come on the Dons. Circum here. Throw on goal. It's Circum for Oxford United. And Sirkham makes it Oxford United 1. AF Wimbledon 0, less than 10 minutes in. And we've already fallen behind to Oxford United here. 
very disappointing defending and a good finish from the Oxford United man, but we should have really done better there. Don't know what Charles was doing, leaving his man wide open and circling slots into the back of the net. And we'll have to come back from 1 0 down front again, anything out of this game. Thomas. Bursting forward, it's Thomas. Up against James Shea. And it's wide of the post, nearly 2 0. That would have been a disaster. Here's Isaac, finding Lyle Taylor. Lyle Taylor takes the pass to the man. Taylor's through on goal, comes to Reeves. Reeves equalises. Jake Reeves makes it Oxford United 1, AFC Wimbledon 1, and we very much undeservedly equalise away in Oxford. We've been dominated by Oxford in this first half, and but that breakaway goal means that we equalise just before halftime. Good run by Taylor, slotting it through, uh, but the keeper saves it, but Jake Reeves taps it into the empty net to equalise for AFC Wimbledon. Buzzing about that. We've managed to find an equaliser for ourselves. There's halftime. Oxford United won. AFC Wimbledon won. Oxford United have been far better in this first half, but because of that late equaliser from Jake Reeves, we sit at 1 1 at the break. Welfdale in, skipping into the area, coming across, and Reeves puts it into the back of the net for his second. It's Oxford United 1, AFC Wimbledon 2. We've started the second half on the front foot, and 10 minutes in, we take the lead. Excellent work here by Welfdale, driving to the byline, drilling it across. And Reeves on hand to put into the back of the empty net and make it 2 on AFC Wimbledon. Taylor. Isaac. Back to Lyle. Taylor through on goal with the shot. Dragged wide of the post in the end. Corner here for Oxford. McKellen lead to swing it in. Thomas! Thomas with the header. Equalised for Oxford United. Makes it 2 2 with five minutes to go and could nick a point for the, side, the team in yellow, the boys in yellow here. Good ball in by the Oxford man, in towards Thomas, and poor defending for me. But heads in towards James Shea. James Shea flaps at it, and it ends up in the back of the net. That was poor from us. But it's 2-2. Uh, we'll see if we can try and pluck out a winner from somewhere. And there's full time. Oxford United 2, AFC Wimbledon 2. Uh, an end-to-end -end affair in a, lot of in, a, in a lot of cases. Oxford taking an early lead. Two goals from Jake Reeves, and we, and we uh, come from behind to make it 2-1. But the late equaliser from Wes Thomas means that we exit Wexford, or Wexford, Oxford, sorry, with just the one point. But we'll take that and we'll hope to move on from that. Come on, the Dons. So, guys, player training in both Mendes and Lance Murphy going up in ratings. Mendes now up to 61 and Murphy is up to 55. So, guys, for the fourth game in today's episode, today's episode sorry, we'll play this game at home at, uh, at Kings Meadow against Millwall, who are directly above us. On goal difference in sixth place. A win will obviously take us into uh, the top six. And uh, not even on goal difference, on goal scored. Uh, but a, a win will take us into the top six, into the playoff places. Uh, and so hope for that against um, Millwall here. A London derby, of course, so we'll get into this game. Hopefully we get a result out of it. Come on the Dons. O'Brien here for Millwall. Finding Williams. Why did the post in the end of the side netting there? Finding... Taylor, Isaac with the shot on the volley there, just about over the bar. It's a great chance there for the Swede to get his first league goal of the season, but he cannot do so. Still, I'm sure the moment will come soon. Williams takes the free kick short to Abdu. Abdu round his man, Abdu shoots, hits the post there. James Shea completely beaten and out to O'Brien. Abdu again, back heel wide. Very good chance for Millwall to take the lead. Welpdale. A oh, good turn by Welpdale. In on goal. It's Welpdale. It's a very poor attempt at a shot. Cummings gives it away to Isaac. This could be a chance. Isaac. Barcham. Lyle Taylor with the shot. Hits the post. Reeves. 1-0 Wimbledon. And Jake Reeves, who scored two goals in the last game against Oxford, has opened the scoring here at Kings Meadow to make it AFC Wimbledon 1. Millwall 0. A comedy of errors from Millwall there as... Uh, but as Lyle Taylor's given the space to shoot, he hits the post, ricochets out to Reeves, goalkeeper stranded, Reeves just has to tap it into the empty net, and he makes it 1-0. There's halftime, AFC Wimbledon 1, Millwall 0, we lead at halftime, thanks to that goal from Jake Reeves, uh, 5 minutes before halftime. We've been the better side in my opinion, and we're, well, uh, in, and we're well worth our lead here, so we'll carry that into the second half hopefully, and come on the Dons. Welpdale finding Isaac. Isaac sliding it through towards Paris. Shot straight at Archer there. Still 1-0. Comes back to him. 
Sliding it through towards O'Brien. Not the best shot from O'Brien. Cummings into the centre. Morrison very nearly equalised for Millwall. And it's not, and it's not away yet. Here's Fred on Yudinma. Still on Yudinma. Shoots. Finds the bottom corner. Fred on Yudinma equalises for Millwall with 10 minutes to go as the young uh, Nigerian. <laughs> Sorry, I just got lost between the thought there. As the young Nigerian makes it 1 1. Excellent shot there. Pulled away from the defence. Finds the bottom corner. Polian into Barcham. Could be a late chance for a winner here. Barcham. Andre Dazelle to win it. Andre Dazelle saved by Archer and away by Butcher. Into injury time. It's still 1 1. And there's full time. AF2 Milton 1. Millwall 1. Again, same story. A late equaliser. Robbing two points off us. That would have been a chance to move into the playoff places. We'll have to settle for 7th now. Hopefully we'll climb back up there at a later date. Come on the Dons. So guys, we just got an email from the board here saying that we're not on track with the financial objectives. Yeah, I, <laughs> I am not surprised at that. Wow. Finished the season with 2.5 million unspent uh, allocated funds. <laughs> we got 150,000. Keep salary go, player salary growth under 20%. It's currently at 61%. Uh. I called at the start of the season we wouldn't hit those objectives, but if you look at our manager rating, it's 72, so we're still doing quite well, all things considered, you know. So guys, really, really bad, bad news here. Uh, I've got a training injury for Dean Parrott, who's going to be out for two months with a torn quadricep muscle that he uh, got in training. But good news, we have our youth squad monthly reports. We have report on our youth players. Harrison Alexander... Looking quite decent there. 54 overall, 75 to 94 potential. He looks good. Bradley Roberts looks less good. Uh, 51 overall, only 70 to 86 potential. I don't think we're going to have room for you, Mr. Roberts. We're going to release him. But Lance Murphy, again, looking quality there. 56 overall, 77 to 94 potential. Looks like a very, very good option for us. Okay, so Ola Aina, who just signed like a couple of months ago, has handed in a transfer request because we're not playing him enough. I mean, you intend to not play him as a backup, but we haven't really used him ahead of Barry Fuller. So you know, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Because I want to keep him, right? I'm going to I'm going to replace him. I'm going to replace Barry Fuller with him in the default starting 11. I like that. Hopefully, he'll play a few games. Hopefully, he'll be a bit happier after that. Is there player training for Lance Murphy and Harrison Alexander? Sees Harrison Alexander going up to 55 overall. So that is good. So guys, for the fifth and final game, in today's episode, we'll sim this game away against Barry in League One. The reason we're simming it is precisely for the reason you see in front of you there. Barry, 23rd in the league on just 13 points all season. So, quite poor this year. Hopefully, we'll get a good result from the sim. So, come on the Dons. So, let's see what we get here from the sim game. We get a 2-1 win. Two goals for Barcham and one for Mayer for Barry. But look at that. First minute, an injury for Alexander Isaac. Wouldn't be his first injury of the season. We'll see how serious it is now. Okay, that's a, that's a relief. Alexander Isaac just got a head cut and he'll only be out for three days. You can colour me relieved. I mean, that isn't a colour, but still, I'm very relieved at that. Player training note, overall increase for any of the guys, but we see the one and two defending, even just to see Alexander is going up tenfold in those stats there, you see. So guys, exciting times. Rory Clark has got us our monthly scouting update for the month of November, so we'll have a look at it. Billy Hill. I think we might, might be worth taking a punt on this guy. Archie Alexander. I think we'll sign him. Jamie Baker. I don't think so, sorry. Jordan Turner. I'll scout him some more. George Bailey. and No, thank you. Oliver Thomas. Uh, we'll just keep scouting him. And Oliver Lee. Ooh, he's overall very coarse. I'm going to say no. So that just leaves these two guys in the uh, being scouted still. So guys, the two guys we signed, Archie Alexander, a 17-year-old left back, 56 overall, 71 to 91 potential. Billy Hill is a 15-year-old centre midfielder uh, with 50 overall, 77 to 94 potential. So guys, that brings to a close this episode of the uh, AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory very soon.